And we're turning our attention to the Gulf right now and the debate over whether seafood here is safe to eat. Congresswoman Kathy Castro says the state with state waters now open for fishing, people need to know that what is being harvested is indeed safe to eat. Our Elizabeth Din is live in Pinellas County with details on their push for community support. Hi, Liz. Well, Linda, you know, here in Pinellas County, we know that the water here, it certainly is oil free, but it's when you go way out there in the Gulf that you find the oil and that certainly has seafood out there. And some people wonder if there will be oil in what they eat. It doesn't sit right along the sea, but the Bama Shrimp Company sells a lot of seafood especially shrimp. Michael Stevens' dad started this business back in 1979. He says he always thought it was a steady business until he saw a rough economy and then the Gulf oil spill. Exactly. It's something that definitely blindsides you and can totally change the landscape of your business in a matter of days. Most of the seafood is sent out to other parts of the country used in restaurants, but with some consumers worried about oil being in what they eat, Representative Kathy Castro came here to tell everyone it's edible. Well, we know the perception issue has impacted hotels, mom and pop businesses, our small business owners along the beach, and it has the potential to cause damage in the, in the seafood industry as well. Damage control is what Stevens says the National Seafood Marketing Coalition is working on. In the near future, we might see ads reminding us to eat something that's been around for a while, but some say is now getting a bad rap. You know, people ask what they can do to help the Gulf, and, uh, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing I can think of is supporting fishermen by buying Gulf cod seafoods. One of the proposed plans, Stevens tells me, comes from wild Alaskan fishermen because they had to come up with a marketing plan when they were affected by sales, big sales of foreign salmon. So one of their ideas is to have regional boards set up across the country and locally, well, the local board would actually use money to put out some ads that would go out nationwide and remind people that, hey, the seafood caught here in the Gulf it is certainly edible. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Elizabeth Din, ABC Action News. Thanks so much, Liz. A Coast Guard crew personally responsible for helping keep oil